Hello, my name is Erica Lambert and I'm the Financial Literacy and Outreach Coordinator here at Palo Alto University. April is Financial Literacy Month and this week's topic I would like to discuss budgeting and saving. In this video, I wanna talk about creating a budget and sticking to it with seven simple, easy steps. The first step will be setting a goal. Your goal can be as simple as purchasing the latest iPhone or MacBook computer, or just putting money aside to increase your savings account. The second step will be to identify your income and your expenses. You need to determine what you have coming in such as your wages, allowances, or student loan refund checks. And you also need to determine what you have going out, such as your expenses and bills. Think about the money that you bring home as well as your expenses and make sure that your goal is attainable. Step three, separating your needs and your wants. You will want to prioritize your needs, such as food, shelter, and basic clothing. And for your wants, you can put that on hold until your goal has been reached. Step four, you'll want to design your plan. So do your research. Make sure that your goals are SMART goals and have all the things that you need to make your goal attainable. And you also want to be mindful of any obstacles that may prevent you from reaching your goal. Step five, putting your plan into action. This is pretty much everything that you worked on between steps one through four. You're going to implement it and put it into real life practice. Now, keep in mind, this will take time. This will take a lot of effort, but small wins do matter. Step six, you want to look ahead. Once you have actively created your plan and you're actively going about budgeting and saving properly towards your goal, you also just want to reevaluate it every so often because life does happen. And in those instances where something does come up, like an emergency or something like that, you'll want to just readjust your goal, but continue on with your plan and to keep on pressing to reach it. And step seven, you want to manage seasonal expenses, such as the holiday season, which it does impact the way that we budget and the way that we save. So when you create your plan and when you create your budget, you want to account for those seasonal holiday expenses. Thank you so much for watching this video on budgeting and saving. Each week, we will send out videos discussing a different financial literacy topic. And as always, if you have any questions, please contact the Office of Financial Aid at 650-433-3824, or you can send us an email at financialaid at paloaltou.edu. Thank you.